Hello once again everyone, it's Soul Spectre, and welcome back to my Pokemon Red and Blue Let's Play. This is now part 17. In the last episode, we decided to take on the fourth gym, the Grass Gym, run by gym leader Erica, and we had quite a little bit of a problem. I wanted to show you guys this before I healed up my Pokemon. This was the result of Erica's battle. Um, keep in mind that Hipster is poisoned, so if I just even walked around for a little bit more, he would have died. Ranger has 8 HP and is paralyzed. Skullbash has 26 HP out of 88, and Oddish is level 13 and does not matter anyway. So that's, uh, that's the result of Erica's hacking. We shall call it that. Uh, if you guys watched the last episode, you'll know what I'm referring to. She kept using the move Wrap and Constrict and Bind, and those are way overpowered in this generation. But we survived, and we managed to get our fourth gym badge, which is very cool. Um, so now we have to do a little bit of a do detour. A do tier. Okay, a detour in Celadon City um, to the game corner. Because as we kind of. Uh, I don't know, figured out a little bit early, um, there was a switch behind this poster in the game corner that leads to this set of stairs where a rocket grunt ran down. So now we are here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my rare candies, I think, on Ranger and Rocky um, just to get them leveled up a little bit more because they need to be um, level 26 for both of them. We'll do them well, I think. Uh, compared to my other Pokemon who are level 31 and 32, they're they're okay. Um, as long as we keep training them, they're gonna they're gonna I don't know keep with the team, I guess you could say. But anyway, we have to figure out what's going on in this game corner. So this is obviously the basement or a basement of some sort, uh, and we'll see what's going on. Who are you? How did you get here? Um, a little bit of an interesting story. One day I wanted to uh, gamble a little bit. And I found this switch behind the poster where you guys ran off to. And now I'm here and battling you for some reason. Oh, jeez, I keep forgetting Bite is not a dark type move. Um, it's a normal type move in red and blue. So I figured it'd be super effective against <laughs> Drowsy. Dark isn't even a type at this point. Doesn't come out until Generation 2. Um, yeah, Ember's not the greatest move. Even though it's a stab move for Ranger, it doesn't... Whoa, that was a lot. Um, it doesn't tend to do that much because I think it has like 40 base power or something like that. So if we could get Flamethrower or something, I'd be really happy. But I don't think that's going to happen for a while, unfortunately. So let's find out if we can figure out anything about this place. Are you dissing Team Rocket? Well, I guess so. I have had a few run-ins with you guys before. Okay, so I remember this. Um, there are a bunch of like gate things, like the one you see down there uh, over to the right. And you have to find the keys, I believe, uh, in order to open them. Which shouldn't be too difficult. But I am going to train up quite a lot, because we have to get Growlithe and Mankey on the same level as our team. You broke into our operation? Okay, so we know this is a Team Rocket operation of some sort. We don't quite know what's going on, besides the fact that this guy has a friggin' whip. Terrifying. Oh no, not Eradicate again. So I'm not sure if the normal progression um, of what the game developers thought would happen uh, was to come to this place first and beat Team Rocket and send them out of Celadon City and then go to the gym. Um, but I'm starting to think that might have been the case and we actually did it the opposite way. Um, but who knows? At least, if we did it the right way, well, I guess if we did it the wrong way, then now this is going to be really easy, because they'll be slightly lower level uh, than our team, which seems to be the case so far, because we've only seen level 21s, um, and on average we're at like level 30 or so, but who knows? Um, I'm going to keep trying to gather clues from these guys. You're not going to get away with this, Brett. They don't seem to be giving me many clues, but oh well. So we found an escape rope, that's good, in case we get lost in here. Um, now, what I'm wondering is if we can, it seems the only way we can go is down the stairs up there, or if we can open this, which I don't think we can do yet. No, we can't do that yet. We're going to have to get some type of key. 
So we'll head uh, downstairs. So this will be a lower level of the basement. And try to figure out what's going on. Oh, I remember this. If you've played this game before, you remember this. You definitely remember this. Boss said you can see ghosts with the sylph scope. That's cool. Okay, so yeah, maybe you're supposed to come here even before you find the sylph scope? I wonder. Okay, this is going to be a long and tedious battle, so I'm going to speed this up just a bit. Nice. Okay, so we've got a coughing too. I'm just using bite here. It seems to be doing pretty well. Holy. Go, Ranger, go. Uh, I'll keep him in. Smanky won't be that good against Zubat. He'd be good against Raticate, though, so I could definitely switch him in now. Um, I think we should still be faster. Raticate's a fairly fast Pokemon, but we're level 26. Yeah. So we'll see what this does. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Hyper Fang. Yeah. Oh my gosh. He also got a critical hit. Oh wow. He has Quick Attack too. Oh. <gasps> we live with one HP. That's amazing. Okay. So Rocky. Uh, I wonder when Rocky evolves. I don't remember when Mankey evolves. I'm really excited for that though. The Team Rocket headquarters has four basement floors. Can you reach the boss? Okay. So now we know that there's four basement floors. Uh, we came down those stairs to the right, so the only option is to go into this maze, uh, and then we'll have to head downstairs. We'll see if we can get any good items over here. I think there's something that helps you get through this. Um, but we'll have to see. Everyone's always so intrigued with this part, because it is fairly cool. Um, it's the first time we've seen kind of a maze like this in Pokemon. We found a Moonstone. Nice. That's pretty solid. And then there's a little tricky way you can get over here to this item. I remember this. Let's see what this is. It's a nugget. Sweet. So we'll have a lot of money. What we'll do, we're also going to... Uh, I don't know. This might be in the next episode at some point. But we do have to hit the Pokemart. Because, as I promised, we have to get uh, some Great Balls, if they're available yet. Um, so that we can catch Snorlax. The second Snorlax that we'll have to encounter. Because I failed at catching the first one. Um, okay, I don't know what to do here now. I think I go here, and then I would like to say, yeah, I think I'm going to go this way. Yeah, that's how you exit. You go to that square at the top. Okay. Um, then this one, and now I think our only option is going this way, uh, which means I'm going to use the top one. Yeah, and that's another way of getting out over there, I guess. So now maybe we'll find an item over here. In this corner. Yeah, there's one right there. Um, we can always go up here, too. So let's see what we can find over here. Um, so I suppose our best option would be to go this way. And then we just have to take one step and get this item. No more room for items. Um, okay, so we'll have to toss something. What should we toss? Elixir, I don't think we really need that. Awakening, I don't think we need that either, because you can always wait in battle for your Pokemon to, uh, wake up. If it was something like Antidote, I probably wouldn't... <laughs> well, especially after Erica's battle. I probably wouldn't use it. Uh, throw it out, sorry. Okay, now we can pick up this item. Super Potion, okay. That's good, that's actually really good, because now I can use that on Mankey. Sweet. That's awesome. Alright. I think we're good for now. Um, now I don't know where we should go. I guess our only option is to go this way. So I, it seems we've found everything that you can really get over here. I don't I don't know if there's any actual useful items. Yeah, I'm going in circles here. <gasps> oh, I hiccuped. Um, okay. We gotta go this way. It appears that there's no other items that we really need. I'm gonna try this. I don't see any. I'm kind of watching as I go by to see if... Yeah. Um... Unless we have to go... I think I know. I think we have to go over there. 
Yeah, I think I completely missed that because I was looking for items that I never really thought of the possibility that there's another whole area to go to. So we'll see what's over here now. Oh. Okay. I know what this was going to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we'll go upstairs. Because uh, I have a sense of where we are now. Oh, wow. Intruder alert. Dun, dun, dun. Any of the longer battles with these rockets, if they have like six Pokemon or something like that, I'll speed it up. Um, because I know it can get tedious with seeing the same Pokemon. There's probably going to be Coughing, Grimer, Eradicate, and Zubat. That's about it. But yeah, I'll just train up Ranger right now. We'll speed this up a bit. Another coughing. That's one thing I wish they had done. Well, they still don't do it very well either. But have more variety on the trainers. Especially like the, the evil team. Or the rival team that you're facing. They tend to always have the most boring and monotonous and repetitive Pokemon. Hyper Potion, that's pretty cool. Okay, so we didn't need to come into this room. Uh, I'll quickly battle this guy. Nice. One hit KO. Another one. Sweet. Yeah, Ranger's getting pretty good. I think we just needed to level him up. Um, I remember I was pretty disappointed with him in Erica's gym. Um, because he's a fire type who's fully evolved, but he wasn't able to take on, uh, most of the Pokemon in Erica's gym, surprisingly. But that was mainly because of the rap stuff. Um, so I think when we go out that exit, uh, to the right there, right now, I think we'll end up where, yeah, okay, so this is the elevator. And it appears to need a key, so we will have to come back there eventually. But for now, we don't need to, so we'll just get out of here. I don't think there's anything we need in this maze. Uh, what we'll do instead is we'll just go further downstairs. Yeah, so I think we're on the third basement floor out of four. We got word from upstairs that you were coming. Ooh, I'm a threat. I'm a big time threat. Let's see what this guy has. Machop, okay, that's fairly new. Uh, hopefully Ranger can take him on. We'll try an Ember, see how much it does. I'm really trying to debate. Oh, nice. Okay, when it gets a burn, it's really good. <laughs> we know that at least. Okay, we'll try one more, see if we can get away with this. Nice, and now I'll switch out because I want to use that Hyper Potion on Ranger. Uh, instead, of having <clears throat> instead of having him die so early on. Uh, so we'll go to Mankey. We'll do a fighting versus fighting type battle. Um, which also brings to mind that Pokémon tournament uh, game that's coming out at some point. Apparently only in Japan, that arcade game. Uh, that has primarily fighting type Pokemon for the Wii U. Is it for the Wii U? I don't know. It might just be for like an arcade kind of thing. I don't know what you call those. Video game consoles are called consoles. What do you call an, I guess, arcade machine? Sounds kind of dry, but... Yeah, um, I'm excited. If we do get a chance to play that in North America, I'm excited for that. Um, apparently it's not all going to be fighting type Pokemon. Which is cool, so I don't know what the roster, I guess you could call it, is going to be like. But, should be pretty cool to see. Okay, so there's nothing up here, and now we have a little bit of a maze to go through again. Now this is what I might have gotten confused with, uh, in terms of if there's a special item down here that helps us. But there's the stairs to get to the very bottom. Okay, so we need to throw out something. So those stairs there will bring us to the very bottom level, I believe of the uh, little rocket hideout here. Okay. Um, try to see if there's anything else we can really get rid of. I don't really think there is. Rare candy, nice. Okay, um, but what I will do is use that Hyper Potion on uh, Arcanine. That'll give us another kind of item space that we can use. 
Alright, so yeah, maybe we'll just get him up to level 30 and then do the same thing for Mankey. I think that seems to be the best option right now. Um, but for now, we're going to try and figure out this maze. I think I'm just going to walk backward from here. And... I think I want to try this. It might just be the rocket guy, but now we can see over there where we have to go. Okay. No, this is it. This is right where we're supposed to go. Okay. Good. Perfect. I'm overthinking it. Stop meddling in Team Rocket's affairs. I love how... I can't get over how they have whips. That's hilarious. Okay. This is going to be a fairly boring battle, so we'll get through this quickly. Yeah, Ember's not too bad. Ember's pretty good. I think we were just at a too low of a level to face uh, Erica's gym. Oh, what's going on? I think he hypnotized me like eight times there. Alright, oof, taken down. Damn right. Alright, so now we're going to the very basement. Basement, basement. Is that one, two, three? Yeah, four basements. <laughs> we're going four basements down. I'm going to switch in Rocky, actually. Um, just because I feel like it, really. Because since we're getting to the end of this thing, I want to make sure we get Mankey up. Leveled up a little bit. The elevator doesn't work. Who has the lift key? So that's what we have to look for. The lift key. Um, and hopefully we can beat this coughing. Coughing's pretty defensive, though. That was a critical hit. Yikes. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um... I'm going to switch in Arcanine, I think. Maybe we'll get some dual experience going on here. See how much tackle does to Ranger. That was a critical hit, and yeah, it did nothing. Okay. So we'll stick with Ranger for now. Oh, unbelievable. Alright, there we go. That's good. I'm really liking how our team's coming along, though. Um, we've got almost... I think we have... Two more evolutions that we could do with what we have now, and then of course I'm replacing Oddish later on. Um, no one has guessed that, what Pokemon I'm going to use, by the way. So uh, just a reminder, if you guess that, you're going to get a special Pokemon. It'll be like a little mini giveaway if you get the answer right. So try to guess what Pokemon I'm going to use on my team. I, I gave the hint before that it's, it does share a type with Oddish. Um, or it serves kind of the same purpose as Oddish would if I were to evolve it into Vileplume. So yeah, try and guess what Pokemon I'm going to use. Uh, and if you do, you'll get a special Pokemon. Okay, this has to be the Lift Key. Ah, HP up. What do we do now? This is crazy. Um... <gasps> ah... Okay, I know who that is. Alright, so apparently there's actually nothing on this floor for us. Surprisingly enough, I'm just kind of going around to see if I'm seeing this right. But yeah, there's nothing down here. So what we'll have to do is we'll go back up. Um, I guess this maze doesn't really do anything for us, does it? Hmm... And that's a dead end. This way would lead us up. And is this where we came from? No, that's a dead end too. So there's nothing on this floor we can do either. This is strange. And then there's the central maze. What is going on here? And we don't have the lift key either. Hmm... Are we missing something? I honestly can't figure this out. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explore around and see what we have to do uh, on my own time so I don't have to waste your time walking around here. But if you enjoy this episode, please be sure to leave a like and also subscribe if you haven't already so you can get my videos on your homepage. And I will see you guys in the next episode.